in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. La voce di Maria dentro l'anima mia come un balsamo scende sulle ferite e le porta via la voce di Maria dolce melodia che ci For our good night message on this Monday the 6th of June 2022 broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University Rome Italy by your servant Father Eustace Siame a Salesian of Don Bosco we listen to lessons from Mary mother of the church Today we celebrated the obligatory memorial of Mary, Mother of the Church. And it is a feast we have been celebrating since 2018 every Monday after Pentecost. There are many lessons we can learn from Mary's life. But I want to share with you those lessons that will make us bless her as mother of the church so that we also can learn how to conduct ourselves in our lives as we keep doing God's will. If we go back to Luke chapter 2 verse 19, we'll hear this about Mary. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. Mary was quiet before the Lord and meditated on all he had done in her life. How often are we truly quiet before the Lord, just pondering on what he has done and he is doing in our lives? Do we take the time to meditate on his word? The other lesson we draw from Mary is that she turned to Jesus for help when she had a problem to be solved. John chapter 2 verse 3 to 5 When the wine ran out the mother of Jesus said to him they have no wine and Jesus said to her woman what does this have to do with me my hour has not yet come his mother said to the servants do whatever he tells you I don't know where you turn to when you have problems in your life Maybe you turn to your friends who just end up gossiping or expanding on your gossip. Maybe you turn to witch doctors who just make your situation worse. Mary found in Jesus the first counsel. Do we spend time worrying or do we point others toward Jesus? The Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you mary did exactly that and with this lesson learned we are going to cast our anxieties our worries our concerns on him because we know he cares mary knew that jesus cared a lot that's why she was able to cast the cares on her son mary was a woman of worship She gave praise to her Lord knowing that the road before her was going to be a difficult one. Do we praise him in and through all circumstances of our lives? We see Mary in Luke chapter 1 verse 46 to 47 saying, "My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my savior." The other lesson we draw from Mary is that She trusted in the Lord and waited on his timing. A virgin betrothed to be married and she just had a visitation from an angel of the Lord telling her she is to give birth to the son of God. How do you explain this one to Joseph? Mary didn't take matters into her own hands but let the Lord change Joseph's heart. How often do you feel the need to change your spouses instead of letting the Lord do his work in them? The other lesson we draw from Mary is that she remained 
with Jesus to the end, even in difficult times. When it seemed like everyone had deserted Jesus, his mother Mary was there, and she followed him all the way to the cross. Today, there are not many professing believers who are ready to follow Jesus to the cross. Are you a true follower of Jesus? Are you faithful to Jesus no matter the circumstances or the difficulty of what you may be called to endure? You may be having a cancerous situation. You may be battling with diabetes. You may be having some other threatening diseases. Are all these reasons for you to give up on the Lord or reasons for you to remain with Him to the end of your life? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Amore di Maria, dolce poesia, Gesù sopra il cuore, sempre di più il nome di Gesù.